Tom Haddon couldn't be here. He's under the weather, so I'm filling in. So I have his remarks that I, I'll share with you all. But um, essentially, he and I, Mayor, Council Members present, you know, we're very happy and lucky to be able to see you all in person again. Um, it's been a very long time, it feels like, since we've been able to do that. So that's very exciting. Um, you know, we're, he's got a list of accomplishments here. Since I've been here, we've had a lot of things happen, um, have happened and made our jobs challenging, to say the least. Obviously, like I mentioned, the last couple of years, but um, we've had a couple of floods, two derechos, um, a city malware attack, a pandemic, lawsuits, and most recently, a short but pretty destructive storm. So all of these events and the organizations, um, you all seem to take it in, in stride. Um, you know, on Tom's behalf, my behalf, uh, everyone here, we are, never cease to be impressed with the, the talent that, um, and the sophistication of the staff that we're able to, um, able to secure here at the city. Um, just wanted to touch on a couple of, um, recent accomplishments, um, uh, we built in, and opened an extremely successful RecPlex that's just recently announced we're hosting a lot of key activities, including the AAU Junior Olympic Games, um, the home opener for the Des Moines Bucks. We've had some very good attendance at the uh, Jamie Heard Amphitheater, uh, concerts, movie nights, our first Juneteenth Jubilee, uh, candlelight vigil for Ukraine. Um, we opened the Raccoon River Boathouse and um, we're nearing our uh, fundraising goal on the Athene Pedestrian Bridge as well. So we endured a, a renovation of the library, which has been a success. We opened the Public Services West facility and all while also maintaining our everyday jobs in addition to having uh, record years of construction permits and over $1.1 billion in, in permitting value. So there's the list goes on and on and affects each of your departments, but fundamentally none of it would be able to be accomplished without you all um, working uh, together and making that difference. So every interaction that you all are having with the public, while it may seem you know, small and, and minute on your behalf, we have no idea how it uh, impacts um, everyone else's day. Um, and, and for that, we're very eternally grateful. Uh, I just wanted to end by uh, calling out a few names of the people because this is, you know, didn't happen by accident. This took hours and hours of planning and we're so grateful to be able to get back together and in person and enjoy this. But I wanted to thank Amanda Blackman, Maggie Martin and Linda Coop, uh, Kristen Johnson, Kelly Hyken Stoops, Tammy Guilin, Rhonda Feely, Denise Kincaid, Christine Gordon, uh, Janet Clocko, Lawrence Hartpence, Mike Coughlin. He always is, he's on every list to be thanked. Tasha Larson, Ryan Penny, uh, Jenna Ayler, uh, Aaron Schwartz, and Amanda Reberg. So that's a, a great team working together. We really appreciate you all putting this together for us to enjoy and take a few minutes off and and um, congregate with our colleagues. So I, I suspect the mayor might have something to say. In addition well, to, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I, I'm going to keep it short. No, I'm going to keep it short. I want, I do want to recognize my colleagues who are here today. And I'm going to say this, you guys are one trusting group of people right now. The fact that you're eating burgers served to you by Councilman Kevin Trevelyan. So Kevin Trevelyan, Councilman for the First Ward is here. And Councilwoman at large, Renee Hardman is here as well, who is serving. But it's okay. The food's okay. She only served for a brief period, so I made the cake. shouldn't shouldn't be sick. Um, but no, honestly, you know, I I've been talking to City Manager Haddon for a while now, trying to bring back this city staff appreciation dinner. Uh, I'll settle for the lunch. Um, you know, Kevin and I have been on the council for 12 years, and this was always one of our favorite events: is being able to have the city staff appreciation dinner. I uh, have the Golden Door Awards for anybody that's been here a while. I know a lot of you have been. It was always such a fun night to celebrate all of you guys. And I, I, can, I know I can speak for Kevin uh, when I say the council really loved that event. And it was just a, a great way to honor you all and your years of service and, and everything else. So I am just absolutely elated that we are having, even though it's a lunch, a city staff appreciation lunch, because you guys are extremely deserving of this. 
Um, you know, it's we've got the greatest city in the world. It's the greatest honor of my life to be able to serve as, as mayor here. And we've got incredible elected officials that have uh, come uh, before me, before Kevin, and that are serving right now. But it's all of you. It's the city staff that make this city what it is. Elected officials will come and go. But you guys are on the front lines working hard every day to make this city what it is. And I cannot even tell you how much the city council, a city manager's office, appreciates everything that you guys do. So thank you guys all so much uh, for everything that you do. And uh, we're going to have to keep this going year after year. At some point in time, hopefully we'll get it back to a dinner. So yeah, let's give ourselves a round of applause. Yes, give everybody a round of applause. Thank you so much for everything. That's it. Enjoy and mingle and be merry. Mm -hmm. so, thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor.